see her where she lost her soul, you know. Friends of those who died in the Chatsworth train disaster watched as investigators reconstructed what led up to the accident that killed more than two dozen. The National Transportation Safety Board conducted a visibility test, trying to find out how long the engineers in the Metrolink commuter train and a freight train had to react before smashing head on. The freight train was on these tracks heading towards this tunnel, and just seconds after it crossed through, that's when the collision happened. There was no more than four to five seconds for each train before the impact. Each train was going more than 40 miles per hour. The Metrolink train blew through a stoplight about three quarters of a mile away from the crash scene. The NTSB says data taken from a recorder from one of the commuter train's passenger cars showed an ominous sign. And that recorder showed no evidence of braking right before impact. The findings now have the agency focusing even more on the engineer of that commuter train, Robert Sanchez. He died in the crash. Investigators say they're going to examine what he did three days prior to the accident and will delve into his work history. This is Metrolink 111. As details came out about the crash, rail service resumed on Tuesday along the tracks where the wreck happened. We boarded the 111 train and spoke with passengers. She had the news on. She said, Dad, look, there was a Metrolink accident. And I looked at the clock and I said, that's 111. She said, well, they haven't said nothing, but I want to check my schedule. I said, yeah, and I would have been on I would have been on this train, which I write daily. Sal Garcia said he decided to stay home the day of the accident. Well, going through there and feeling it, it's emotional, but I feel better. I was in my bedroom with my daughter at the time, so we just sat and couldn't pull away from the TV. Looking for faces, that's exactly what I was doing. Seeing who I knew and who was on it. I was so worried, very worried. Sue Candiff was going to take the train that day, too. At the Moore Park station, where the 111 was supposed to end up on September 12th, visible reminders of those who died. And at the crash site, signs of sorrow of those left behind. John Moan, the Associated Press, Los Angeles.